Lovely to be back in Australia, the original Brexit. Um, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, Melbourne as well, such a health conscious town. You're all filthy hippies here, of course. Um, <laughs> It's fine, it's nice to be, you don't want to date a hippie. My ex-girlfriend was a hippie. I'm done with dating these hippies, you know. I don't want a girl with flowers in her hair. I want a woman with gravy on her neck. You know, real shit. <laughs> we used to get into arguments at farmer's markets. That's where we get into our fights, you know. Uh, I remember this one time we were at a farmer's market. It was cash only and we only had a fiver. And she wanted to spend it on this like handcrafted coconut milk soap. And I wanted to get in the car and just plough through every store. It's, it's difficult, isn't it? How do you, how do you compromise? Um, <laughs> then we went to a, a vintage furniture store um, because there really are only so many things that white people can do on a Sunday. <laughs> Brunch, farmer's market, vintage furniture store, independent cinema. Mm, yes, please. <laughs> What a honky Sunday. Mm. <laughs> pottering about. Ah, oh, I fucking love pottering, right? <laughs> if you don't know, pottering is a very white activity. It's when you're in town, but you're not doing anything specific, you're just sort of pottering, right? Uh, but only if you're white, I must stress. If you're not white, that's not called pottering. It's called loitering. <laughs> which, which is a crime. <laughs> <laughs> Hardly seems fair. Have you noticed there are these words that sort of change meaning depending on what race you are? It sort of proves that white people have it a bit easier in life, you know, pottering, loitering. If, if I move abroad, I'm an expat. Hmm, sounds lovely. You know, but if I'm not white, I'm an immigrant. Boo! You know, it's mean, isn't it? Um, <laughs> dabbling, that's a very white word, isn't it? A word you only really hear white people say, you know. Do you play the piano? Well, I dabble. Um, <laughs> I think it basically means, no, but I am white, so I can do anything. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> it's a tense time around the world, of course, no more so than in the UK, which, I don't know if you've noticed, is that fucking bin fire in between Ireland and France. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It's a tough time for immigrants of all, of all hues. I, I don't want to victim blame, but I do have this theory, right? Go with me on this. I, I, I do think the whole Brexit thing could have been avoided if Eastern European people had better food. <laughs> like, don't go with me. Because we get called anti-immigrant a lot at the moment. I think there's definitely a bit of that. But for the most part, that's not true. Basically, there's a simple, very simple rule. We love immigrants if we like your food. That's basically the rule, right? Like, the national dish in the UK is chicken tikka masala. That's how much people from India are now part of the country's fabric, you know? We, we love Chinese food. Every, every city has a big Chinatown, you know, Caribbean food. Massive in the UK. But none of us ever go out for a Polish, do we? And I think you're the same, you know, I, don't, I can't imagine anyone being hung over, like, oh, I can't be asked to cook, let's get a takeaway. Yeah, what should we get? Indian, Chinese, Mexican, Thai, Malaysian, Vietnamese? Nah, 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 man. I could murder a fucking borscht. <laughs> you know that black soup tastes like gravelly earth? Yeah. <laughs> Made out of beetroot and communism? I want that. It's not date food, is it? Not romantic? Want to go out for dinner? Yeah, you got anywhere in mind? Well, let me ask you this. Do you like cabbage? <laughs> it's lovely to be back in Melbourne. Uh, can't wait to see you for a month. There, there. Bye. <laughs>